Hey everybody, welcome to Pro's Park Pass. This is the craziest video I think we've ever done. I've never done anything like this ever. Uh, so it's just a little something different. I am just telling about my experience of what I'm doing today. I am driving right now. I am driving to San Diego, California. I know that you're probably, what? why San Diego? I'm going to San Diego because uh, I am gonna be traving to Paris. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, well, why are you going to San Diego if you're going to Paris? I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Did you guys know that in Utah, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour? It's awesome. I love that. I love that. Anyways, you can't really see it. And I don't I don't really want to fumble around or fiddle with the camera, but the mountains look pretty. The they're sun kissed with snow and the clouds are on them. Maybe if I stop when I stop and gas up, I'll uh, flip the camera around so then have it so you can see what I'm seeing. But for right now I just wanted to talk to you guys to tell you what's going on with Pro's Park Pass. So many things are happening and it's different and it's crazy. And I hope that you will just come come along and join us for this uh, amazing little month of April for us. The first thing first is on April 12th in Disneyland Paris, they are having, that's the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, they're having a special event. And I don't, I am so, we feel so lucky and so honored. We have been invited to go to the special event and they're inviting a bunch of special guests there and we're gonna get to be there and we were told that we are even gonna be given permission to film it. Uh, we don't know all the guests that are gonna be there but I, I there's gonna be some amazing guests there and we've got permission to actually film and show what's going on there. It's gonna be a Q&A. It's in English, uh, if you can believe that. And so we got invited to that and I was like, heck, oh, what? Yes, I would love to. It's a very exclusive thing. I think there's only about 150 people going to this. So excited that we are invited. Then I went down and looked at my passport and can you believe it? I kid you not, my passport expired three days ago. I was like, what? I can't believe it. that I had let, I was, I'm a knucklehead and I let that lapse and I, I didn't renew my passport. Now, for those of you who don't normally have, a, if you don't have a passport, you have to, uh, you have to fill out all this paperwork and mail. It takes about eight to 12 weeks to get your passport. You can pay extra and get it expedited in five weeks if you, if you so choose to do that. But I'm traveling in less than two weeks. So I was like, uh-oh, what do I do? So I ended up talking to the passport agency and they said, well, in your case, you can do what's called emergency travel. And because you didn't know you were gonna be traveling and all of a sudden this came up, you don't want to miss this opportunity. And you can go to a passport, a US passport office in person, but you have to schedule an appointment. You cannot just walk in and show up. They'll reject you immediately. So I talked to them and they're like, okay, there's two offices, well, there's three. There's like one in LA, one in San Diego, and one in Denver. And they're like, the one in LA is completely booked up. So choose San Diego or Denver. And I was like, San Diego. And they're like, okay. So I made my appointment. I'm tomorrow, I have my appointment at 10 in the morning to go to the San Diego US passport office. I've got all my paperwork filled out. I've got all my new photos and everything you need to that. I'm gonna go in there and they said I'll take most of the day, but I'll, I should get my new passport. So then the following week, I should be able to travel to uh, France. Woo! So that is what we're doing. Uh, that's what I'm doing currently right now. Plus, there's so much more going on. Since we're gonna be down in San Diego, did you guys know that I was like, I was talking to a getaway today yesterday, then we use them for all of our travel, right? Whenever we're booking something, I use Getaway Today. They, I, I've used them now for years, even before we started Pro's Park Best. I just love their service, they're so good. And I was like, I am going down to San Diego, blah, 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 and they're like, they're like, oh my gosh, I, they have all these packages in San Diego. They got Legoland packages, they got SeaWorld packages, they've just got uh, hotels and all things down there. And so they're like talking, like, you should be like looking at San Diego, and I was like, why are we not doing that? Something that crossed my mind was, did you realize that Amanda, she used to be a cast member for a kid, for SeaWorld. Amanda worked there. She was like, I think what's called an education counselor. She would take school groups and, and educate them on, on wildlife, on, on, sea, on ocean life. And I was like, and Miles has never been. So if you think we should be doing this, 
and like going down and exploring San Diego and taking miles to SeaWorld, I think it'd be fascinating to go with Amanda to SeaWorld and get all the inside scoop of SeaWorld because you know, that's where she used to work. Then uh, go down in the comments down below, but uh, PPP and me in San Diego. Is that a good PPP and me in San Diego? <laughs> I don't know. Just if we get enough comments about that, then that will let us know that we have enough interest in that. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to Getaway today and I'll book us a little vacation thing there. We'll travel there and go to San Diego and go to like um, SeaWorld. And uh, after we go to SeaWorld, we go to maybe to Legoland and all that. So if that's something you're interested in. Then there's, wait, but wait, there's even more. This weekend, we are taking over. Sorry about that. So when I go on like a long drive like this, I turn my phone on uh, do not disturb mode because I don't want to be bothered while I'm driving. Except I have it so that emergency contacts, they can still call and go through. And Amanda was calling. And so I was like, oh my gosh, so something's going on. And so, but she just was calling just to check up on me and say hi. So that was all that. Anyways, what was I saying? Okay. This on April 2nd, on April 2nd, we are taking over. When I say we, I mean Amanda. Amanda is taking over the Weston Anaheim Resorts Instagram account. Now, now the Weston Anaheim, for those of you who don't know, is probably the one of the, if not nicest, hotels in all of Anaheim. And they have a special going on for just magic key holders. It's gonna be amazing to be announcing this here in a little bit. But she's gonna be taking over their Instagram account. Amanda has no idea that I'm doing this. I think it's on top of mind because we were talking. But what you guys want, what I want you to do is I want you to get on Instagram and I want you to go to Weston Anaheim. That's it's all no space, it's all it's Weston Anaheim. And when you get to Weston Anaheim, go to their latest photo and I want you to write PPP sent me on their latest photo. On Saturday, April 2nd, for 24 hours, Amanda is going to take over their Instagram account and their stories. <laughs> and you're going to see all of those things with Amanda. You'll see her out by the pool. You're going to see her at the food that she's eating in the room. She's just taking it over, uh, their little Instagram account. She, that, they don't know that I'm going to be promoting this here at Pro's Park Pass. They were doing this for their Instagram followers. But I want you guys to go there and see it because it's going to be super fun. So go to the Weston Anaheim on Instagram. And then on the latest photo, type in PPP sent me. And then on April 2nd, make sure you have the little, you're, you're following them. That way on April 2nd, you can uh, follow along with Amanda's stories. I think that'll be really cool. And then stay tuned for more because if you're a magic key holder, uh, they have come up with this great deal for magic key holders, which is awesome because usually all the good deals seem to go over people who are buying tickets for the very first time. But this is, this is an exclusive deal for if you have a magic key. Uh, and you're gonna be going to Disneyland, they have a cool deal coming up, which I'm excited about that. So that's really cool. Just driving along guys, getting ready to go down to San Diego, get my passport, <laughs> so much is going on. I, I appreciate you kind of being here. I know it's a little bit different than what I do, and uh, but I, I wanted to share, I'm excited and wanted to share a lot of these things going on. Now some of you are probably going like, hey, wait, 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 I thought you lived in California. We, <laughs> excuse me, we did. Here's what happened. I'm gonna give you a little backstory about Provost Park Bass. Uh, you can skip this if you want. For, if you, or for those of you who are hardcore fans, you probably know all this, but when we started the channel, Provost Park Bass, Amanda and I lived in Irvine, California. I love Irvine, by the way. It's amazing. It's such a great place. I just think it's fun. We love living there. And I was working for a company, and at the time I was, I was doing uh, YouTube, Provost Park Bass, and also working in the professional world. So I worked in the professional world, um, and the company that I was working for, after a while, they transferred us up to Utah. And at that time, uh, our, our, our YouTube channel was just kind of fledgling, it was just going along, very new. And I thought to myself, I was like, well, I, I told the man, I was like, we're stopping the channel. I mean, we're just gonna stop doing the channel because how can you do that when we're in Utah? And so, and if you're wondering, yeah, I did, can you believe it? I worked in the professional world for a long time. Like we're talking like suits and ties and board meetings and all that good stuff. I used to go around to large clients. The company I worked for would send me to other large clients to, to work with their sell staff to teach them how to sell. I mean, they, yeah, so anyway, I don't know why, tangent. Anywho, so Amanda, we moved to Utah. I told her, I said, I'm, I'm 
don't not gonna do uh, YouTube anymore. Amanda came up. She's like, hey, there's this thing called Patreon, and she's like, why don't we start Patreon and just see? And I was, I didn't know what Patreon was. I'm like, what's Patreon? And she's like, Patreon is a place where people can go to find creators that they like to support. Like, if they do content that they like, and they're like, this is worthwhile content, they can support. They can do like a pledge, like a monthly pledge, and say, hey, we want to support the creators. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I was, I was like, okay. And I was, I didn't know anything about it. Amanda set up the whole Patreon thing, and we took it very seriously. And so we did this thing where like every Sunday night we made an extra video for just people, just for Patreon people. We do like Zoom parties. We did like a Patreon, we've done some Patreon only only exclusive events and say hey, we're gonna be here. I think this summer we're gonna do one at the Padres game. We're gonna talk about that with Patreon. Anyways, she created all these tiers and different levels. And lo and behold, there became, um, people started supporting uh, Pros Park Best through Patreon. I was so immediately humbled by this. And so what we, and I was, we were doing like one video a month and, and, um, and I mean not one, one video a week. And, and so we were doing that and Patreon, they just were so encouraging the most positive people. And they, we formed like this really good community. Because of that, that saved our channel. Because of Patreon, then I was able to fly out to California and what I would do is I'd fly out to California for like a weekend and I'd film like two or three videos and then fly back and we were only doing one video a week. So I put out those those videos like boom, 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 and then I'd fly back out and then do that. And we were I did that for a while, for ooh, I don't know, for a while. And then eventually what ended up happening is we came up with this whole like we're gonna do the Provost Park Pass World Tour. This was like the dream. And again, Amanda is the brainchild. She came up with this idea. She's like, I want to go to all the different theme parks and I want to show what our experience is like so that people can have experience, particularly the theme parks in Asia, because you know a lot of people might never get that opportunity. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> I was super nervous. I had worked really hard on my career, my professional career. And, uh, and Amanda's like, I think it's time for you to, to maybe set that aside and let's focus on YouTube. I was nervous, but I was like, I, I believe, I believe, I believe in Amanda, and I believe in Pro's Park Pass, and I was like, okay. So we did, and of course, as you guys know, we went on the whole world tour, started it, <laughs> went to uh, Florida, we were in Florida for like three weeks, and then we were in, the first day we left on the world tour, by the way, the very first day, that is when Shanghai uh, Disney closed because of the, the world. And, but I thought, it's like, ah, it'll be like two weeks. And I'll be back to normal. We went to uh, Florida for three weeks. Then we went to Disneyland Paris. And while we were in Disneyland Paris, we were supposed to go from Hong Kong and then from Hong Kong to Shanghai, from Shanghai to Tokyo. And then from Tokyo, we're going to go to Alani. And then from Alani, we're going to end up in Disneyland and have a big party there. And we had this old, this big, huge thing uh, rented out. And people are going to come. And it's just going to be a, this big, huge event, right? While we were in Disneyland Paris, everything shut down. And so we were working. And I was like, and I was working with uh, Getaway Today. And I told them, and they're like, okay, hey, we'll come back to. Uh, come back to Florida and so we went back to Florida we ended up going on a Disney cruise which was that we weren't expecting to do but we just were doing that just to stall while the things we opened we went on a Disney cruise and then ended up going back to uh, Utah waiting and and we're like oh we'll be here for two weeks and of course we weren't <laughs> and I thought that was just that was so devastating to us and I, I at that point I thought well uh, our channel I don't know how our channel is gonna survive that and so we just were trying to make original content and keep people entertained and try to be a positive message. And I told Amanda, I was like, I think at that point, everybody's going to, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I thought Patreon would stop. I thought that people quit watching. And, um, wow, I don't, I'm not, I'm, oof, I almost got a little emotional every second. The exact opposite happened. Uh, the Patreon community grew and people were just giving us messages and just saying, thank you for being so positive and thank you for being so, so uh, uplifting and thank you for, for giving us content during this time. And uh, she goes, we, we appreciate that. And so that was so uplifting to us. And then what ended up happening, of course, is that I, uh, Disneyland was starting to reopen and they were only allowing California residents and that was another blow because we were 
we had purchased a house in Utah. We're living in Utah. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? And so we made a decision. We're like, okay, hey, and I, we packed up our stuff and we moved back down to California and got a place down there and had a lease and we did all that so that we could keep doing what we were doing. And everybody was so supportive of that. And it was, that was, that was like, that was almost a backbreaker for us. I thought, I can't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. We went down there and it was, it was great. Uh, the community was so supportive. We we're able to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, and then our, we had to make what I felt was the, one of the hardest decisions we've ever had to make since the channel started. Our lease was expiring down there in, um, in, in, and we were staying down in, in Irvine. We went back to Irvine and our lease was expiring and we had to make the choice. Like, what do we do? Do we go back to Utah where we had a house that then that we could go, we could, at that point we were able to move back into our house or do we just get a lease down here and, and, uh, and stay down here. But the reason that became such a hard decision is because of our son, Miles. Miles, um, we needed to figure out what we're gonna do with him with school and all that stuff. And we just felt that Miles has a really good support group in Utah. Uh, Amanda's, we have family there. And then also, uh, Miles had done uh, pre-pre there, pre-K, and had a lot of friends there. And Miles was, was involved in soccer and t-ball and had this good group of, of friends that he was going through. And so uh, we made that decision, like, hey, we'll do that. Well, we're gonna go back and, and, and uh, go back, which was hard, uh, but we, we, it's the right thing for Miles. Hands down, no regrets there. And so what we did is we came back and then we, uh, what I do is I travel down to California and then when I'm down in California for like a weekend, I'll film like three or four videos or four or five videos and then uh, we'll put those out. Then I'll go back and make like every third weekend, we'll go down and film and do smattering of videos. And the group, the Patreon group has been so supportive of that and just been, I, we, we love them. I, I love them and they are, they're like, they're like family and it's so good to us. And I, I, I'm really, I'm really proud of that community that we've created with them. They're, they're so awesome. Anyways, uh, here's what I think we do. I'm gonna try to go and stop and get some gas. And then when I pull over, because I don't want to fumble with the camera while I'm driving, uh, I'm gonna try to turn it around so you guys can see these mountains because they look really pretty. And maybe you guys can just take a look at the mountains. I, I'm not, this is so foreign to me to do a video like this. Uh, because I'm I'm not used to this, so I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I just stopped. We refilled, and we're good to go. New gas, new day. Well, it's not a new gas, new day. <laughs> All right, just got refilled with some fuel, and uh, I turned the camera around, and, and so you guys can take a look at that. I don't even know what's really showing. I hope it's showing how beautiful the mountains are. Thank you so much for joining me on this little uh, adventure today as we're driving along. I think what I'll do is, as I stop and get more gas and food, and then I'll probably talk a little bit more about what's going on uh, in my life and also with Probst Park Pass. I just thought I wanted uh, I wanted uh, people to see the, the mountains. I think mountains are very pretty, so. Hey, hello, I stopped. Uh, I just got, I was getting a little hungry, thought I'd get some food. I stopped off at McDonald's. I've got their cheeseburger value meal, the two cheeseburger. You wanna know what my secret is about this? Is you order a cheeseburger without pickles and out onions. Even even if you like onions or pickles, you say, no, that way they make it super fresh and nice and warm for you. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. I am in a little teeny tiny town called Mesquite, Nevada. I'm about maybe an hour and a half from Las Vegas, making pretty good time. Uh, it's a little, this is like a little gambling town, a little tiny casino area right on the border of Arizona and Nevada. So here I am. Thought I'd just stop by and say hi. I, I was getting a little lonely. So I wanted to say hi. I stopped at McDonald's to eat because it's something I don't get very often. You know, Amanda's a vegetarian, so she doesn't really ever want to go to McDonald's. And Interestingly enough, Miles is not a big fan of McDonald's either. So I'm the only one. So I never get to eat there unless I'm alone like this. I will say this though. 
I really enjoy McDonald's french fries. I think they're fantastic. I, oh, and that's my favorite. Like when you, like, look at that. Oh, like that. Cause it's like so greasy. It just is like, I love that. Best fries. Harder crispy, you got crispy fries or the floppy fries? Put it down in the comments down below. <laughs> okay, all done. I'm gonna drive, I think I'll stop in, off in Las Vegas. So just so you guys can maybe see a quick little glimpse of Las Vegas. And then from there, on to San Diego. Okay, I am in Las Vegas. My stepmom lives down here in Las Vegas and we stopped and had lunch. And now I am headed off to San Diego. Woo, 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 woo. So let's do this, guys. Did you know that my car is a manual transmission? And I love it. Like, it's, the problem is, is like, if I ever got my friends, nobody could ever drive my car because it's manual transmission. <laughs> All right, let's head to San Diego, guys. Hey, guys, I am about two hours away from San Diego. Uh, it's been a good drive. I don't. I just. I just. I listen to book tapes when I'm driving, and I just think thoughts through my mind. I actually like the drive. I find road trips relaxing. <laughs> I would. You know, when Amanda and I first got married, she did not like uh, going on road trips. Really, she was like, "Oh no!" But now she loves like driving and like listening to music and making sure that you know, just, just chit chatting and just talking about different things. I wish she was here with me. Uh, oh, the drive is always more fun when Amanda and Miles are with me. But anyways, I thought I'd just give you an update. I am about two hours away from uh, San Diego. I gotta uh, stop and get gas one more time and then I should be there. And I am checking into a hotel tonight. Then tomorrow going to the, uh, the US passport office. Get that all taken care of. And we'll be good to go. So. I, yeah, I think yeah, I, I've been fun. It's been, it's been nice uh, having you guys along with me for this journey. I, I really, I, I, it's been nice because it helps it go faster for me. I was trying to think of like funny stories to tell you guys and different things to do, but then I was like, ah, well, whatever. Anyways, I'll stop me getting gas here a little bit, then getting to uh, San Diego. What I'll do is I'll once I pull into San Diego and get and get to the hotel room, I will uh, talk to you guys then. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. Here we are in our hotel room. It's been a long day. Uh, made it safe and sound. Gonna make it to the US passport office tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on this wonderful day, guys. It's a little adventure, something different. All right, you guys are the best. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button because this whole month we'll be doing a whole bunch of videos just watching our whole story of what's gonna be happening. We got so much going on. We've got Paris. We've got we did the Western takeover. We've got even more going on. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we do all these cool things. All right, talk to you later. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.